feel refreshed again while i continue cooking sure you've been seeing and hearing news about introducing lgbt to kids how do you feel about this way back before we blew it all hey guys welcome to the channel it's Dran here and in today's video i'm going to be taking you all along with me as i meal prep for the week today i'm going to be preparing authentic okra in obono obono and okra soup together basically guys let me show you the ingredients for my obono and okra soup this i have my okra here i divided it into two i've washed it and i have cut head and the edge so this is it i'll show you guys what i'll be doing with this here yeah, i already boiled my meat and my pomo this is it then i have um smoked mackerel fish i have my obono here and i'll also be making all peppers tomato pepper mix that you can use for your stew use for your jollof rice use for your spaghetti everything you can think of then I'll also be making a rough steel blend. And while I'm making all these meals, we'll also be chit chatting. Let's begin. Here I have my washed shombo and sashashi. That's for my rough blend um, stew. And also for my tomato pepper mix. All purple tomato pepper mix. This is my washed tomatoes here. Yeah then okay let's use this i've gotten what i want this is the consistency i was looking out for you could like to make okra soup are you team food processor or your team i'll be using my hand to cut my okra let me know in the comments. So we're going to start by placing our pot on fire. And we're going to put our meat stock into the pot. I'm trying to avoid the meat from getting into the pot. I just need the meat stock. I'm going to be adding more water into the meat stock. Scotch bonnet pepper. Smoked mackerel fish into the pot. Then you wait for it to boil. While this is on fire, I'm going to place this pot on this side of the gas to boil my tomato pepper mix. This is my tatashe, shombo, and scotch bonnet pepper. You add your onion. We're going to take out our fish now so it doesn't scatter. Now you pour in your beef, some seasoning, take your obono, pour in some oil. You place it into the pot to melt for a bit. Guys, onto the gist. I'm sure you've been seeing and hearing news about introducing LGBT to kids. I don't know how do you feel about this because i really feel the end is really near we've been hearing the end is near the end is near but i feel the end is nearer than we think it is currently with the situation of things and how things have turned out in the world i recently saw a video about the popular coco melon and i saw that i don't know the characters because i don't watch it but i'm just saying based on the video i watched so there's this little boy in the Coco Melon cartoon and he was sad and he was singing to his parents. His parents are two males, two dads. He had two dads and he was singing and saying he cannot decide. He was holding two um, clothes that he can't decide what to wear. He was just sad and the two dads came and they were singing. They knelt down towards him. And they told him it's good to be yourself just be yourself and they be yourself he went inside and he came out the ballerina he wore a skirt uh a tiara and something small like a jumper and i was like 
what is happening here like be yourself and it's coming out dressing like a female i need to use rag to get it out now we're going to pour in our okra is it okra or okra now our obono paste you stay stay i'll be adding some water because it's too thick now i'm going to add my second batch of okra mackerel fish some crayfish and i was like god we really need to handle our children instill in them the morals of god and teaching them what is in the bible right from now because the world is really turning into something we don't know how can you introduce such to little children two years three years four years like you're already telling them that it's okay to be yourself where you want to be yourself which means being yourself you can be yourself you can be a male and be a female or you can be a female and be a male like I don't understand and when i was reading comments i was seeing that there are other cartoons also that they are already introducing such into those cartoons and i'm like where are we going from here we're almost done now you stay see how thick this looks guys i think i might have to add a little bit of water now you pour in your veggie table i'm using ugu that is pumpkin leaves okay if you say you want to stop your kids from watching cartoons that won't be really easy because as they go they go out to school they also meet other children they meet different people they hear things and they come home sometimes they don't get to tell you about some of those things and sometimes they get to tell you how are we going to help prevent them from getting exposed i know you can decide to stop them from watching cartoon but you can't stop them completely and you cannot also um, stop them from interacting or mixing up with other children i also came across this sorry i also came across this channel um, it's called moonbug it's an educative channel so i think that channel is also good but sometimes they tend to get bored what are other um cartoons that you feel are good and child appropriate you can leave your comments in the comment section let's continue now we're going to start preparing our local sauce you guys prepping all your ingredients cuts your cooking time into half or more than half i feel refreshed again while i continue cooking this is kunuzaki millet and guinea corn drink i made this a few days ago your meat and your pomo so this is okay i'm just going to drain the water and allow it to cool down before blending and storing in the fridge or freezer whichever one you have but i'm going to be using half of it to make a little amount of stew now you add in your onion into the pot the aroma in here already guys Ooh la la! Add in some crayfish. Stir. If you like, you can add your locust beans, but I don't have locust beans available, so I'm going to skip that part. Now I'm going to add in my fresh tomato, my pepper mix, then I'll stir all together. Your seasoning. A little salt stir all together cover look at what we have guys time to add in your protein adding my egg also I'm going to poke in some holes 
so that the sauce will enter into the egg. My sauce is ready, guys. All I need now is white rice to pair it with the sauce. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.